All right, in this video, we're going to be doing uh, pre-layout based synthesis to get an area and power estimate of the cell that we've been developing. Now, uh, I've uh, made some improvements to the cell to try and cut down on the area. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to show you the general philosophy uh, to doing this. Now, if we uh, uh, look, I've created a working environment uh, in a folder that I have for synthesis uh, using the cadence flow. Uh, I have a work folder that, that I've uh, made uh, with the name of the cell that we're building uh, with underscore work appended to it. And if we look uh, in this environment, uh, you'll see that I have a folder for the RTL, uh, for some scripts, uh, for some various tickle files and some uh, constraint files. And if we look in the RTL uh, folder, we'll see all of the various uh, Verilog files that I have uh, for the filter synthesis that we're going to be doing. Now, I like to do everything in a script-driven fashion. So I've made a script called syn.tickle. Uh, and this is going to do the pre-layout based synthesis. Uh, and we're not going to use this for the final layout. But we're going to use it to get a good estimate of what the area requirements are going to be and the power requirements are going to be. Uh, and then we'll take this design uh, and we'll use it to build a floor plan. Uh, so here you can see the script. Uh, the top uh, area, we're just getting some basic info about the machine that it's running on. Uh, the second area, we're setting some global variables. Uh, and these variables are the effort that we're going to use in the design. Here I have uh, the uh, various efforts set to medium. Uh, of course, we load our design cell, which is uh, the top level cell is called pp underscore int underscore x4. Uh, and then we have paths for our uh, outputs, reports, and logs. And we load a search path uh, that should contain uh, the path to the different libraries that we're going to be using. Uh, next, uh, we're going to be using something called uh, an MMMC flow. Uh, this is basically just a flow that allows us uh, to uh, run uh, timing uh, efforts over different corners of the process. Uh, you know, corners, voltage, and temperatures. Uh, we'll look at this uh, timing script in just a moment, but it's just a, uh, a tickle script. Uh, we load the technology uh, lefts. Uh, these have to do with the physical layouts uh, of the cells. Uh, that we're going to be using, and then we load our Verilog. Uh, so here are the uh, Verilog files uh, that represent our design. Uh, all of the files that are part of your design need to be in the path. I have some extras here from a different filter that I've been designing as well. Uh, only the ones that are associated with the uh, pp underscore int underscore x4 design are going to get loaded because that's the top level module that we're loading. Uh, next, uh, we go into the synthesis phase. Uh, we run this in three phases. Uh, there's a generic phase, uh, and then a mapping phase, uh, and then an optimization phase. Uh, and finally, uh, we write out some various reports, uh, and we write the design to a database, uh, and we write the uh, HDL to a structural Verilog file. So this is a Verilog file that, instead of the behavioral one that we created using the uh, MATLAB or Simulink coder, uh, this one actually will map the cell or the logic function to logic gates uh, that are in the standard cell library. Now, the only thing that we need to run this is this uh, synthesis script. Uh, and then we also need our MMMC file. Uh, that MMMC file is called MMMC underscore sin dot tickle. And if you look at this file, basically, we were loading three different libraries. Uh, so I have, uh, I'm doing this uh, over PVT uh, and corners. Uh, so I have a 0.9 volt, 25 degrees C uh, TT library, uh, a 0.81 volt, 125 degrees C uh, SS library, uh, and a 0.99 volt, uh, negative 40 degrees C FF library. So this is basically representing a typical corner a worst case corner and a best case corner. Uh, we have some operating conditions. Again, this has to do with you know the, the worst case scenario, best case scenario, and typical scenario, timing conditions, similar uh, uh, type of structure, 
uh, RC corners. Uh, so again, we have RC max, RC min, RC typical, uh, and uh, delay corners, same philosophy. Uh, we have a constraint file. We're going to look at this in just a moment. Um, and then we uh, create analysis views uh, that have to do with um, setup times, hold times, etc. Uh, in the various corners that we've just created. All right, so what this uh, file basically does is it, it tells the uh, synthesis tool uh, what the scenario is that it needs to close timing over, uh, and, uh, and then uh, the tool will try and close timing uh, over all these different scenarios. We can also, uh, I, I, we mentioned that there is a, an SDC file, which was a constraint file. This is a, the constraint file. Uh, so here you can see uh, we uh, name our current design, we create our clocks. In this case, we have a main clock, and then we have it divided down by four clock that's generated from the main clock. Uh, there's a clock divider circuit uh, that we will synthesize. Uh, we set some parameters on these various clocks. So for instance, the uncertainty, uh, this has to do with the jitter, uh, latency uh, in the design, uh, different transition speeds, uh, etc. And then we set some false paths to uh, ensure uh, that the designs don't get, uh, or that certain paths don't get, uh, or don't uh, cause uh, timing uh, to blow up or to become uh, cumbersome. All right, so with that, if we want to run Genesis, we're going to, all right, so now we're ready to run this. Uh, I'm going to use a tool called Genesis. And Genesis is the synthesis tool uh, that's uh, built in with, or that's associated with Cadence. Uh, you could, of course, do this on something like Design Compiler, but I prefer the Cadence flows uh, just because I'm more familiar with them. Uh, so, in order to run Genesis, we're going to launch Genesis using the command Genesis, and we're going to put uh, our uh, logs into a specifically named log file, just using the minus log option and giving a log file name. All right, so we've started Genesis. There it goes. It's going to take a moment to load. All right, once it's loaded, we're going to run our script. So we're going to do source. The path to the scripts is one level up in the hierarchy and then back down into a path called scripts. And then our script is called sin.tickle. And we're going to run this. All right, now this script is going to take uh, quite a bit of time to run. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video for now and we'll come back in just a few moments and we'll see what the results look like. Uh, you can follow along in the log file uh, if you'd like. And one of the things that we're always looking for is to see if any errors pop up. You can see so far no errors have popped up yet. All right, as you can see, the design is now complete. And we can do a couple of things uh, with the design now. We can do a report underscore power. Uh, this tells us that the estimated power right now is about 32 milliwatts. Uh, you can see that number right here. And we can do a report underscore area. And you can see that the estimated area is about uh, 55, almost 56,000 micrometers squared. All right. So in the next video, we're going to pull this design into Innovus uh, and do a pre-placement and generate a def file that we'll be able to use uh, for a layout-aware synthesis process that we'll do uh, following this pre-layout synthesis. All right. We'll do that in the next video.